Are you one of the millions of people who use Yelp? It is one of the country's most popular websites featuring listings and reviews of everything from restaurants and local businesses to doctors. But are those reviews trustworthy? Tonight, two investigator Pam Zeckman reports on controversy over the company's alleged sales techniques. She runs a popular West Loop restaurant and got a call from Yelp asking her to host a dinner for Yelp reviewers. And in return for hosting it, meaning paying for it, they would move my best reviews to the top. And I was really stunned. He runs a dental practice that got several calls from Yelp salesmen saying, We can hide or camouflage negative reviews if you advertise with us. They would bury the negative reviews and they would bring up all of our positive reviews. They refused and believe that explains the dental practice's low Yelp rating. I feel that Yelp is manipulating the reviews. So does the owner of Simply Thalia. He says a Yelp salesman pointed to his low rating and said, If we do this advertising, uh, he will see that we, we will see some kind of result to change the rating. In class action lawsuits, other businesses complained about the same sales tactics. One of them charged that Yelp dropped its rating when she refused to buy advertising. Days after she agreed to advertise, she said five-star reviews were reinstated and her rating went up. Yelp says no one can pay to manipulate reviews. The company explains on its website that it uses an algorithm to try and filter out fake positive and malicious negative reviews. Tan and James say too many of their positive reviews have been improperly filtered, like one from Georgina Carenza, Dr. James' patient for 10 years. When you wrote the positive five-star review, what happened? Just disappear, like this, magic. Technology attorney Evan Brown has advice for Yelp users. One should approach this content with a, with a grain of salt, because if what these plaintiffs in this lawsuit against Yelp were saying is true. It may be unreliable. Last year, a judge dismissed the lead class action suit, ruling that a federal law immunizes companies like Yelp from liability for what other people write. That decision is being appealed. You'll find a complete copy of Yelp's statement to us and on our website at cbschicago.com, plus links to Yelp's online explanations of their filtering process. And Robin Kate, they do show the filtered reviews, but you have to go to the very end of the page for that company and then put in a password, so they make it a bit difficult. Interesting. So, so what is Yelp, or what can the businesses that are being reviewed by Yelp, what can they do? Well, what the experts do recommend is that they review the site and what's being said about them, and that they comment when it's, when it's required or they want to rebut. And they can pursue litigation against the author of the comments. Really? Okay.